plenty of resources again. Plenty of experience. I mean, think about it. How much experience I got from taking out both mines. Well, I've taken out the outside of this mine and the inside of the other mine. Now, for the old mine, it just... I'll give you the scoop. The old mine collapses. Gomez goes mad basically and everyone decides like everyone in the old camp decides to attack the new camp's mine take over the new camp's mine so they come over here kill everyone and take over and we will have to liberate it later on so why not kill them off myself they're expendable they're dead Oi, 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 I'm almost forgetting. I'm not that stupid. Let's get that stupid level 1 of this. Watch level level 2 of this be 40 points. Hello. Or 50. I want to learn how to handle a two handed sword. Okay, let's go through the basics first. Hold the sword in a horizontal position. You'll need a great swing to attack your opponent with such a heavy weapon. Raise your arm and swing it straight down. That's usually enough to knock the opponent down. Use the momentum of the weapon to bring it straight back up again. Two-handed swords are ideal for coordinating side hits to keep the opponents at a distance. That should do to begin with. Have a practice. Yeah, 40 points. But now we hold the sword differently, as you can see. Much better. Much more fluent. Okay, Riordan, I need even more potions because I'm a cock. Greetings. Greetings. Show. Tell me so many. Yeah, Look at this 4,000 arrows, 3,000 bolts. Damn, son. No, I don't think. Yeah, <laughs> not even close. Hell, no, no point in buying those. So, I guess let's tone down on the bows till we're basically even Stevens. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can sell something else too. Even it out. The book. There you go. Now. As I stated it and said. Well, let me give you some insight. Okay, so let's look at the map that doesn't want to work with the M button. Okay. So as I stated it, we got the far the far right one. Now what I would indicate for you is to go for the middle up upper middle one. Basically to the north east of the old camp which is at the center. Like the head of the star. You could almost say. There you will find Gorn. Now once you clear all that area, basically you can just use Gorn to clear the area. He is willing to come and walk around with you. So if you're too weak to clear the other areas, you can just use him and clear everything in your path. More or less. Now I don't need him because I've cheesed my way into strength basically. And now I'm just thinking which way should I go first? 
I mean, the logical thing is the one that's closest to me. Then the one up. These ones on the left, basically. Then I'll TP to the sect camp, take the one down, and then TP back to the sect camp again and go for the one that's up. Basically, the last one will be the one with Gorn for me. Also, you'll find allies in all four places. And the uh, four allies that you'll find, I can spoil you already. It's Diego, Milton, Gorn, and Lester. These four are reoccurring characters that was well and very important. Plus, they're basically your friends. Hey there, Jarvis. Hello. How are the scrapers? Is uh, same text. Watch your back. I will, I will, don't worry about me. Also, yeah, 85 against weapons. Now that's beautiful. I'm telling you, it's just gorgeous. So, pretty much, I'm just going to keep all the points that I'm going to get to get the second part of this sword fighting to master it. Since the ultimate Maybe. weapon is a two-handed sword. So why not just be good at it? Now, do you remember last time we came up here we were... Once you get that, your swings are much faster than before, and it's much easier to just combo. Well, it's harder to miss time since it's more fluent. Like the game really handicaps you at the start. As you can see, we basically one shot snappers that are level 22. Now I'm level 20, no, 19. Just keep using the potions. Keep saying I'm going to stop the episode while well, the recording. I'm just keep, I just keep going and going and going and going. Funny how, at this point I should just stop saying I'll end this episode here, or I'll end this episode there, or I'll end my stupid existence here or there. Hey there, Milton. Okay, so... Here's our first helper. Greetings! My friend Lester from the Swamp Camp told me about your great deeds there. I am impressed. You've become very strong. I do my best. Ah, yes. Always modest, aren't you? What are you doing here? There is an ancient ring of stone not far from here. In its center lies the entrance to an underground vault. Some sort of tomb? Yes, something like that. There is something in that tomb that I'd like to have. Why don't you go down to the tomb and get what you're looking for? Oh, that's a long story. I'd have to go a long way back to explain. Go ahead. I'm in no hurry. All right. After the creation of the magic barrier which imprisons us all, one of the magicians sealed a magic artifact down there. Is this artifact one of the five focus stones? Exactly. So you already know the story of the five focus stones. Don't tell me you're after the focus stone as well. No, I'm not interested in the focus stone. I'm looking for an orcish talisman. The artifact was sealed away? Yes. A powerful spell protects it. The first grave robber trying to swipe the focus will be cursed 
and doomed to an existence as a restless undead, will have to protect the tomb from other grave robbers. How can you get past that curse? There will be no need for that now. Some years ago, an ore baron out pleasure hunting for orcs was careless enough to enter the tomb. Now he is the guard of the treasures down there. Psst. Out <laughs> pleasure hunting orcs, okay? What about that talisman? I believe its former owner used it to defend himself against angry orcs. If I'm right, the talisman may be of great use. I'm looking for a focus stone. It must be here somewhere. That almost sounds as if we were both looking for something in the same place. Yep. We should seek out the tomb together. You get the talisman, and I'll have the focus stone. All right, but there is one little problem. A problem? Yes, the guard down there in the tomb. Can't he be cut into handy little pieces? That wouldn't be too easy. He seems to be extremely resistant against the effects of normal weapons. Let me guess, you already got a plan, right? Mm, well, I have a plan, but I can't carry it out on my own. Tell me. I have a spell scroll with a very powerful spell here. The spell will destroy all the undead who fall under it. Then it should be child's play to take out the tomb. Mm, well, not quite. The guard is not on his own any longer. Probably later grave robbers who were no more successful than he was. I went down there once and I was nearly killed. One man on his own cannot do much there. Give me the spell scroll and we'll do it together. Good, very good. I hoped you would say that. However, we only have one spell scroll. Use it for the guard. The other undead can be defeated in normal fights as well. I see. Well, which way leads to the Ring of Stone? Follow me. That's the Ring of Stone. Like, really? You are two steps away from it. Yeah, down there. Just give me a second. Anything hiding in this area? I know in the second game there are like two skeletons around this area. Let's just beat down the beater. Do I get any? Yeah, I get claws and things from you. Okay. We had some problems with the Shadow Beast back younger, but I guess I'm too short in the Shadow Beast, which is level 40, by the way. Dark herbs. Okay. I wonder why they're dark. Sounds like they're evil herbs, but you can still consume them. Okay, invisible wall. Not the first game that I keep finding invisible walls in. Okay, so what's hiding in here? I don't see anything, so no point in getting out my trusty 200x well battle x okay so it sounds like there's something here but there is only a chest which contains nothing of this well nothing special I should say I have to look like 10 times to be sure that I'm saving into the one that's less saved. Okay, Milton. Here we are. The tunnel here leads directly to the tomb. 
Then let's go and visit the guard. I'm just going to beat the shit out of everyone here. Come here, stupid skeletons. Can you let me move a bit? Good. You have the talisman. Here, take it. That was our deal. Thank you, my friend. I never forget anybody who helped me. I'll go back to the old camp. Perhaps we'll meet there. Yeah. Oh, we will, we will meet there. Okay. Well, at least got some decent loot here and the key opens up this for us yeah, you get plenty of loot here but there you go now i can take on a group of skeletons without caring i've definitely reached not late game status but i'm pretty close to that already and i'm only in chapter 3 Or some might just get cocky. Now, funny enough, what you can do here is just follow Wilton. And we'll clear out the areas together. He'll aggro the orcs. Heading that way. And everything else, of course. But first, I'll take care of these guys. I mean, technically, I don't even need Milton for this. See you later. I like how he creeped on up, up, up to me at least. Since there aren't that many orcs, so hell, I'll let Milton go past since he can actually steal away some some of the kills and that could be a sucky team yeah, scavengers I don't even care about looting you guys all I care about is you giving me your experience so many potions in this game especially if I mix in all these plants but it's best to just have everything down pat yeah. I know where you came from sir but you're in the wrong neighborhood and so will be everyone that's on this side of the beach some lurkers 
This way. Yep, there are. Oh wow, I actually hit you from that distance. Do I do any damage with the bow to markers? Oh shizer, look at that. I won so a <laughs> lurker is weaker to a bow shot than a blood flies. Well I'm pretty sure I must have created there. Cause no other way that was legit. I mean the advantage of clearing the areas now is that when more enemies spawn in additionally you won't have a hard time with them Disadvantage since the groups of them will be well, not lower and lower, smaller and smaller. I use up less resources, so I'm stuck with having a million resources. Okay, we've cleared this, this area as well. Now, time to head deeper. This time we're heading into the orc area, since that orc right there signifies the start of the area. It's a pretty large area, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm pretty sure I could just simply take on the whole camp one by one. Of course, I cannot stop myself from gathering everything in my way. See, I mean, there's an orc shame. No, an orc. <laughs> but there are four warriors there. What spell can I use on them? That would be actually worth it. Ice blocks. No, those don't have enough range. Ball lightning, ice bolt. Yeah. Let's just use a ball lightning on them. Now, this might be a bit more suicidal since these are orc fighters. <laughs> but I'm willing to take a risk here. <laughs> to them but they do damage to orc warrior orc fighter orc fighter and orc fighter yep I'll keep that there since it might be useful. Life bonus, I don't care about that. Oh yeah, I should keep in mind I can sell this because they give me no benefit. Grapes, cheese. Well, five grapes is enough. Ten cheese is enough to have. I mean, I love some bread. for my mana the first thing is a raven up now take it so it's good to know that I can handle the orcs pretty well more or less I demolish them come on stupid orcs <laughs> one level 
out of four that I need. Okay, let's see what we find here. Well, and at this tower, I don't know if I find something on top of the tower or not. I remember there might be a chest containing some measly stuff. But at, le at least we get a bit of a view. Yeah, uh, maybe second game. There is nothing here. Okay, there is that tower there. There is the old camp. And that's about it. Nothing more important here. And I can let go from here. Oh, it was a bit too high. But not by much. Now time to eat a million breads. Since I have to use some of those resources. Okay. Let's just... Oh shit. Let's just... Oh shit. Uh, you guys deal no damage to me anyway, so... isn't good enough. Got them orcs sneaking up on me. And this takes a lot of time because I'm being stubborn. And I just want to use my resources before I use my potions. Well, at least every now and then. Orc leaf. Krush Urok. So you guys are gonna hang, hang out over there or come and join me. Come here. Come on, you stupid orc. <coughs> Definitely not an easy area. If all you have is a simple mercenary's armor and maybe a simple talisman and some simple rings. But since I've looted probably the most powerful, I think the amulet that I have is the most powerful in the game in terms of physical defense. Ah oh yeah, I should kill the, the two guards over here as well since they are a pain in, in the behind and they offer nothing really well, nothing that I care about in this chest almost nothing and you attacked me for this when I was weak now there's nothing you won't have much time to be sorry for it you won't have much time to be sorry for it okay Too close for his own good. Short term sprint. I just wish there was one for five minutes. Ah, I want to check something out. You guys can attack me. 
This one didn't get the memo. Did they even take off 50 HP? Yeah, just just a tad bit more than 50. in a second I haven't been in this area oh. huh. see you late what are you doing here why are you here withered ass ass withered ass yeah I just said it a withered ass and some more. This looks like a secret hideout. You can find Diego here in the second game. Then these potions suck. In terms of... They only give you one minute. One minute passes by just like that. <laughs> That's a too big too big of a group for me to take on. Maybe just maybe. Now of course there is a traditional way of entering the orc encampment over there I think. And then there's the brute force way of just storming it and killing everything off. Which I'd prefer. More experience means you're stronger. Okay. I might die here. Since we're talking about a lot of orcs. Well, only five. That's not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when they get to like stun lock you especially if two of them hit me at once at the same time like mutra choco mutra choco bang 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 okay enough of using oh, use those resources now I'll do it this way I just want to have a round number of everything apart from beer and rice naps because those take too much time to consume This and there we go. We're pretty much back to normal. Now let's just go and beat the shit out of the orc dogs here. Okay, I tried 
to cheese cheese it with a second strike but I don't remember the timing of it yeah but this is what I'm saying I've reached almost late level status of course late level status is when I take on five orcs without having to back down I just simply tank them <laughs> is the last one yep now before I head even deeper I want to kill this guard here as well kill everyone from the old camp because they can suck a big fat rod put the put the weapon away oh I've put it away into your skull that is this guy is weaker than the goddamn orc dogs and he's protecting us from the orc clans. <sighs> That's a sad concept. That's why he has to be punished. Okay. I don't know if there is anything here apart from a view I mean you can head into the old plants but while this road also there's like a if you come this way can I even see it from here or is it not in this one and is it in the second one there's like a cave somewhere around there Maybe I'm just being stupid. No, there is a cave. And I've showed you where the cave is. Okay. I don't know if there is anything in the cave though. Can't remember. Yeah, an empty cave. A cave just there for show, basically. This is another way to head basically into the orc land 